Hey guys, what's up? So I want to do a video, like a quick video on um, Twin Flames when you are having sexual relationships with other people, like how it works and how you know that you're coming more into your 5D spiritual um, being uh, when it comes to sex rather than not like being in your 3D sex world instead um, physical reality, but, so, a lot of the time, um, you know, when you start getting into the 5D, you kind of don't care about sex anymore, it's not about sex, it's about passion and love, um, the lust kind of goes away, um, not completely, I mean, it can still be there, but I heard, somebody told me it's, like, asexual, like, that's what it's like, it just becomes like that, not everybody is like that, but I'm just saying, like, you can get to that point. People have to remember that a twin flame journey is a journey to find yourself for unconditional love for yourself. Because that's what it's about. It's finding unconditional love for yourself. And that's what the whole point of doing that, the journey is, is finding that unconditional love for yourself and your twin flame is your catalyst to heal and to see what needs to be healed because they trigger you the most. So if they trigger you, you get mad, upset, depressed, something, that's something you see that you need to heal, okay? When it comes to sex, people need to realize that sex in general is sacred. You can put as much energy on sex as you want because everything is energy, the kind of energy that you put onto sex is what you're going to receive as sex back. So if you put an energy of one night stands, if you put an energy of rough sex, if you put an energy of, you know, getting choked or getting your hair pulled or, you know, whatever, you're not, that's what you're going to attract the kind of people that want to do that with you. You're not going to attract the romantic making love type of energy um, from people. You're going to attract the ones that just want to fuck pretty much and have a good time and hump it and bump it and then leave. You know what I mean? Like those, those ones. Um, and they're not, they're, they're fun. I'm not saying they're not like, I'm not saying that I still wouldn't do it, but what I'm saying is I don't really care anymore about sex. Like, it just became a thing where it's like, okay, like, I don't really care. Like, I literally, like, I don't want to say this, but, like, I went to go, like, do something to myself the other day, and then I started, and I'm like, no, I'm just not feeling it. Like, I just stopped. Like, I didn't even care. But the thing is, is that it's not that I don't want to. It just doesn't appeal to me right now. And that's good because if it did and I went off and did something with whoever, um, cause I could, it would be a P you, you give a piece of yourself to a person when you have sex with them and you receive a piece of that person within yourself. So that's why you have to do a lot of sexual energy, clearing out your sacral chakra and the womb, um, you know, and all that stuff. I have a meditation on how to do that that I made up. But, um, so I do it for myself. It has, it also, um, has to do with forgiving. Like, the sexual energy has to do with forgiving. So when you're, when you're, when you're healing your sexual, your sacral chakra for your sexual energy, you're actually helping yourself heal forgiveness and, um, emotions, like regulating your emotions, relationships, stuff like that. Um, but the womb is the fertile, the fertility that brings birth to new things, but also children, you know what I mean? Um, being brought into the world, um, which is like the empress of the tarot cards, just let you know. So anyways, you get a piece of them. You don't know where they've been, but you get all of that. Like, you get every energy that they have been with. You have no idea who these people are. You have no idea what they've been through. Because you get a piece of their trauma. It's fucked up. So, when you 
come to a point in a twin flame journey where you don't want to have you're not in you're not in an energy of caring about sex it pretty much means that you know that sex is a sacred union and you're not just going to waste it with somebody that isn't not worthy but like isn't like you don't want their energy you don't know where it's been you just kind of want your twin flame and because you know what it is like you know it's sacred you know that it's not an energy of a one night stand and it's like you you see it more I don't know like there's this guy and like he would bother me all the time and I'd be like get mad at my twin flame and I'd be like yeah like you know blah 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 and then I just disappear. <laughs> I never did anything with him. And like finally, like everybody that hit on me, I was like, finally, I, I told them, I was like, dude, like, I'm not going to do anything with you. Like, I don't want you to keep trying to like, even date me, like not even just, you know, flirt with me as in a sexual way. Just, you know, when somebody's telling me they're like, oh, like, why don't you just get to know me and give me a try and you know, this, that, and the other thing, like, just, just give me a try, just give me a try, just give me a chance, just give me a chance, and I'm just like, I, I would, but I'm just not in that energy, I just don't care, I'm working on myself, because like I said, the twin flame journey is about finding yourself, it's, it's, it's learning how to unconditionally love yourself, because that's what source is, and we are source, we are co-creators, we are God, so, I think that's all I'm going to say. Pretty much, when you get, if you know that you're on a twin flame journey, if you get to a point where you don't care about sex anymore and you're not lustful, especially if you have addictions to, like, porn or anything. Sorry, I'm, like, playing with my hair. <laughs> um, you start to realize, like, I'm not really, like, I don't really care anymore. But because you want the romance you want the real thing you want that connection that spiritual connection because you know that you're a spiritual being it's not just sex it's you're literally taking a piece of every single person that that person has been with in you in you it's a sacred union so it's like if you're just having one night stands with people and it's a sacred union that needs a lot of energy clearing. I can do it for people too. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys.